everyone. So today I'm going to be planning for the week of January 8th through the 14th. Um, I do have this right here. Since I am no longer in school and I finally graduated, uh, I no longer have so many things to do besides just things for work. Um, so I'm going to try to keep this as entertaining as possible just because it's really boring. Uh, okay. So basically I have one, two, three, four days that I'm completely not doing anything at all. But for me, I like watching planner videos, even though the person sometimes doesn't put anything or they have like the before the pen type of thing. So I still want to still make videos for y'all, even though my life is not very entertaining. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. So since we're still in the beginning of the month of... January, a lot of things are going to be worked around goals and what I want and things like that. So I decided to pull in this kit from my newest addiction. I believe this kit is still up. Um, so you should be able to still get this kit. Um, but I got this during the PB sale, PBC sale last year. Um, that's so weird to say, but 2017 I got this. Um, so this was the freebie and it's the PVC exclusive. So it's probably not going to be as large. Um, but these are the full kits. The quote says she turned her cans, her cans into cans and her dreams into plans. So I really liked this. And I really liked the bobby pins for some reason. That was what I was really drawn to by this. These are the heart checklist, your headers, some bow clips, your weekend banner, some little extras, some flags, some headers, quarter boxes, two habit trackers, bill dues, workout, and the sidebar tracker. Your headers, three heart checklists, some half boxes, quarter boxes, bill due, payday, extra arrows, plan, laundry, weekend banner. So you can basically use this for two weeks and some icons. Along with your washies, some little things, and more washi and little dinners here. So I really like that. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to have, I'm going to be pulling in some things and I'll let you know what I end up pulling in. But yeah, I'm really excited for this. So from here on out, I'm going to just do a voiceover. So if I ever use anything extra, I'll go ahead and let you know. Okay, so these headers are from Planning World. They're complete foiled headers which I completely love the only thing that's not um, foiled is what it is so these are the to-do list um, or the to-do headers I'm sorry um, earlier if you heard me like stuttering or calling things differently than what they were I was exhausted it was Saturday and I had to wake up early in the morning in this past week um, it was a half and half week where I was half off and then half I had to go back to work and work has been hectic since we've gone back so we're trying to get everything together and register these students so it's been really crazy if you don't know I work for a college um so yeah it's been insane since we've gone back so it's been fun but it's been exhausting but yeah I went ahead and put down the checklist and I'm still really like concerned about the headers and the full boxes and things like that so I never feel confident enough to put the full boxes down first and then the headers so yeah I love this bottom washi with the bobby pins I don't know what it was about the bobby pins that I just was completely in love with but yeah I went ahead and put the first full box down and it's going to be the quote box um, that I had mentioned previously and I love that they now line up completely with the headers. Back then it kind of like irritated me that it never lined up, but now it does. It's really nice. Has anybody started going back to school yet? I know a couple of colleges have already started registering or some high schools have gone back to school. Um, I graduated with my associate's degree and that's where I decided that I'm not. I'm going to stop um, unless I change my mind. But right now, I think I'm focusing more on work than I am on school. And it was really difficult um, going to school um, 
part-time and going to school, I mean going to work full-time. So I really don't want to stress myself out too much if I don't feel like I want the degree. I'm the type of person that I don't like school, um, but I like helping people that want to be going to school, if that makes any sense. So that's kind of why I worked in a college. I've been working at this college for about five years now. So yeah, I've kind of built a career out of it. I've um, I started part-time and I just worked my way up. I've been promoted like two times since then. And this position has been the longest time that I've been in a position. So I'm actually up for interview for another promotion. So cross our fingers. I get that because Lord only knows I need it. I'm trying to buy a house. So yeah, adulting is fun sometimes. So I'm putting some washi in between the habit trackers just because I like that little distance sometimes if I ever feel like I want to put some icons in there or something. And everything was from the kit, so I didn't have to pull any extras. Only thing that was extra was that um, silver header that says this week. And if you see me pointing, it's because I'm trying to, my brain was like completely shut off and I had to make sure that I was looking at my pad and making sure that I was lining up to the day. But yeah, on Tuesday, it's my interview. Oh, I'm so nervous. It's because you can't receive any feedback, and the people that are interviewing me are people that I know, but they can't tell you anything because it's outside of the regulations. So it's really like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I've been filling in with the position for the meantime, um, so I can gain the experience, but you never know. Sometimes they give you the job, sometimes they don't. You just never know. So the, um, the heart from previously was from Clever Girl Crafts, and the bow was also from Clever Girl Crafts. I don't remember the colorway that they're from, um, but I'll leave that all down below, and I'll also leave the links there. So that bow as well is from Clever Girl Crafts, and I like putting things from work with the bow in the center. I don't know, I just realized that I was doing that last week too. If you've used this kit, leave it down below and leave your Instagram. I would love to see how you use this kit. I also use that heart from Clever Gal Crafts. And I love this sticker. I hope that, um, I think her name is Laura from My Newest Addiction, has more of those office stickers. Man, those are so adorable. And they fill up a good chunk of space, which I like. Um, her kit was kind of hard to get used to. This was the first time I've used her kits. And um, I didn't know that they're longer boxes. So I was a little bit confused at first, thinking that I didn't have enough room. Um, and that was not normal. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm putting this bow clip from the kit, and I'm putting a payday sticker next to it. But I end up changing that. And also, my camera shut off, so if the color is a little bit different, um, that's the reason why I'm... I tried to edit it to get as close as possible to the original, but it just wasn't flowing well for some reason. I ended up getting this heart icon from Planning World. Um, I use a lot of icons in the headers from Planning World, and here I'm finally ready to use my pen, but I realized that it has the ink from the pen gems, and I don't, I'm not a really big fan of ballpoint pens, so I'm just showing you all how I just buy the ones from her website, the extra ink, and you can just put them in really quick, and you're just ready to go from there. I love this ink for some reason. It's so thin and so, like, nice. Just never have any issues with it. I love it. Please cross y'all's fingers for me for that interview. <laughs> Every time I see my, I see that in my planner, I get super nervous. I get really nervous with interviews. I mean, who doesn't? Um, but it's so, oh gosh, it's so nerve-wracking. 
my friends having a baby and I do some hand lettering on the side or calligraphy if you want to call it that and so she's doing like a western theme for her baby girl and um, she wanted me to go over to her house so that we can put her name her baby's name on the wall with rope and do it in the calligraphy style that I do so I'll be going to her house on Saturday after I work and then I have to go back to my cousin's house and celebrate for her birthday so Saturday's gonna be pretty eventful I'm gonna probably be just as exhausted so that's why I decided to do my plan with me on Friday <laughs> And the tradition is to edit and upload. It's been really good to finally be consistent with uploading and doing everything. So here's when I change the sticker. But like I said, it's been really good to know that I've been consistent with um, uploading on Sundays. It's been really nice. But yeah. Oh, I didn't mention it on the top for the flags. I used the flags from um, Clever Gal Crafts just because the kit did not come with flags for the 2018 Erin Condren. So, yeah, that's why I decided just to put those. And now I'm putting date covers. I'm putting the date covers on from Rose Color Days. I love her date covers. Um, she's basically the only shop I use for date covers. I love the foil and I love the colors that she usually puts out. Does anybody else have like different foil shops that they like? I found a couple of them which I've been really obsessed with and I'm waiting for them to come in the mail so I'm gonna do a video on it because they're fairly new and they don't have like a lot of sales just a couple of hundred compared to like the thousands that others have um, let me see if I can find them very quickly so these date dots are also from rose color days I love her date cover or her date dots just because they're on um, clear paper and they're foiled of course so one shop that I found is Paper Muse Crafts, and her mini kits are foiled, and they're $14.95, which is amazing. And I found another that her shop is Fancy Sticker Prints, and she has scripted ones, and those are $2.25 for 30 scripts. So that's amazing. If you're trying to look for some foil and you don't want to pay for full price, those are two that you might want to go to. I'll leave them linked down below so you will be able to get access to those Etsy shops. Okay, so here's the finished look. Everything's basically foiled because that's just me. Um, I was able to finish up my last week and this is what it looks like filled in. It's just this day. I haven't hit Sunday yet, so I don't know what's happening, but I usually just put down the minimum things of what I know for sure of what I'm doing and then when the day goes by, I go into my planner and I write it down because I like looking through my planners and knowing what I did. So yeah, today I took a four hour nap, guys. It is 1030 at night and I'm wide awake. <laughs> so yeah, this is what I've gotten done and I'm really excited. I really like the way that this came out. It's very nice and pale and silvery and foily and it's amazing. I love it. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time guys. Bye